Here's a story on what it's like to be an ER doctor. Several years ago, I was working an overnight shift. It was about two o'clock in the morning. I was the only doctor on duty. Um, the secretary for the department noticed on the security monitor, there was a guy outside of the ambulance bay banging on the ambulance bay doors. Now this is not where patients would come to check into the emergency department. This is where ambulances would bring patients in. And we used to get a lot of drop off stabbings, a lot of drop off gunshot wounds, things like that. So there was some heightened concern. A few of the nurses rushed out there. I saw the commotion and followed them out. And when we got outside, we see this guy outside. He's yelling and screaming, but we can't really understand what he's trying to say. Um, not because it wasn't English. He just was very hysterical. He was sweating, um, extremely diaphoretic and drenched. And he was yelling and screaming and waving his arms all over the place. And the nurses are asking him, hey, what's going on? Are you hurt? Are you injured? Did something happen? Um, are you having pain? What, what's the problem? And and at the same time, I'm trying to lift up his shirt. I'm looking at his back, his chest, his abdomen. I don't see any wounds anywhere, but I'm concerned maybe he's injured and maybe he had a head injury. I don't know. The nurses tried to start pulling him into the ambulance bay and he's fighting them off like he doesn't want to go in. We're out there for a solid two minutes, solid two minutes trying to ascertain what's going on and getting absolutely nowhere. Finally, he lifts his arm up with his finger pointing and his arms just shaking and he's pointing off in the direction. And just like a movie, we kind of all turn our heads and look over in that direction. That's when we see off in the distance, a car about a hundred feet away, both doors open and a light inside the car was, was still on. We can't see anything else at that point. So we start running over towards the car to try and figure it out. Now in my head, I'm thinking we gotta be careful. Uh, we don't know what's in the car. We don't know if there's someone else in the car with a knife or, or, or what it could be. As I approached the car, I looked in the back window and I see his very large wife laying on the back seat with her legs in the air She's crowning and there's a baby coming out. The nurses and I were able to deliver the baby successfully in the back of the car out in the parking lot. There were no complications. The baby turned out fine. Now, the reason the husband was so hysterical was because he didn't even know his wife was pregnant. You see, she was a very large woman and she said she didn't even know that she was pregnant. The husband was hyper religious and later he said he thought it was a demon that was trying to eat its way out. And the moral of the story is you just never know what you're going to get when you're working in an emergency department.